All right, we've got King's Pass LDZ on that Queen Knight Doppy on that Nash. Not even gonna play around with other characters. No Lucian, nothing. Just straight up Nash. Really feeling himself with those terrifying spear and hammer signatures on King's Pass. Definitely can make use of that down state with the hammer off the left island. But here we go. LDZ versus Doppy. Both sporting a white character texture. LDZ finds the guitar stop, he finds the spear, nobody going for unarmed. Both players completely undamaged, and LDZ gets the first hit with a neutral air. LDZ with these guitars trying to get on top of Doppy, but Doppy with that spear gets a nice downlight string. Doppy going in with the recovery, gets punished by LDZ's at neutral airs, being very cautious about spacing, finds that side air, gets the recovery, goes for that gravy cancel side stick that he used so much against the luxury but doesn't connect. Doppy gets a scoop combo. LDZ holding around that weapon right now, goes for a side air but he gets punished by Doppy's side air of his own, even though he's heavily damaged right now. Doppy's not letting up on the aggression. Doppy again, scoop into an air, gets the side air, LDZ in a lot of trouble, is he gonna go into the shenanigans area? He's looking for it, but Doppy, I'm ready for it, comes wow. out. Excellent patience from Doppy there, just waiting to see exactly what ledge LDZ was gonna go for, and hit him with the ground pound to take the lead in the first game of the best of five. LDZ trying to go for a recovery, hits him with a side light. Doppy gets in with a recovery of his own. LDZ trying to go for a side stick, but Doppy's ready to punish him with the neutral light. There's the recovery. Kills LDZ off the or kills Doppy off the top, and LDZ evens up two to two. Mine thrown up. It's placed down. No one going anywhere near it. LDZ with these Katars keeping the pressure on top of Doppy. Doppy backs up, picks up the hammer, can't get the side stick. Goes for the side stick again, doesn't connect, but gets the scoop regardless. LDZ hits him with that side air, but gets hit by that recovery into the ground. Doppy goes for that stop into side air, sends LDZ into the stage, and both players find themselves in the shenanigan zone. Doppy inside of that shenanigans area is getting knocked around by these guitars and isn't able to make it through. Gets taken down. LDZ just a little bit in the red. Is Doppy going to be able to answer back quickly? Looking for the, the opportunity, stomp side air, there wow. it is, throws the hammer away and has the spear now. Talk about quickly ending a stock, Doppy had one nothing to do with that disadvantage, making it easily one-to-one -one once again with those hammers. Tosses the hammer down the center of King's Pass, however, LZ finds the guitars, goes for the neutral light into the side stick follow-up, but Doppy dodges high, LZ now doesn't have the weapon advantage. However, hits him with that side light, Doppy gets him with the recovery, the down light side air, he's getting the damage very quickly. LDZ coming up with that in there. Doppy not able to get that low to the ground. Ground pound. There's a ground pound. Weapon toss. Doesn't get the follow up with that down sick. But the side sick from LDZ knocks him off yeah, the map. That nearly Doppy killed him. Gets to the wall. LDZ going for another side sick. Being in the orange against Queen Nice side sticks with guitars is so terrifying. But Ooh. Doppy, excellent signature uses. Goes for that sliding stop. Doesn't connect. Goes to the uh, the spike ball. But LDZ finds himself below the stage. The, the ground pound. The weapon oh, toss. Oh, and that spear. Not quite enough interesting use of that map to get that right angle that he needed. And Doppy in a little bit of trouble. Oh no, Going Doppy. real low. Going so low to the point where he almost was punishable by a, a, a ground pound. But LZ gets that neutral air into the ground pound. Doppy sends the hammer down the center of the stage. Oh. Wow, the neutral signature punish on Doppy's side stick from the spear. Doesn't kill him. Both players are at kill percent. Doppy hanging on to this stock for dear life. LDZ starting to fish for some signatures. Knows that a good hit could be it, and there oh, it is. Doppy went for the weapon switch, and LDZ immediately reacts with a side stick. LDZ was able to get on that platform so quickly. That side stick came out of nowhere, and Doppy finds himself killed off the side of the map. LDZ takes game one, and he bans out Shipwreck and Thunderguard. Incredibly tense match. Both players sticking to their legends as well. Doppy's saying go back to Kings. He was not happy with the result of that. He feels like he can bring it out. Let's see a game two of this best of five in grand finals. Between Doppy's Nash and LDZ's Queen Nine. Three, Here we two, go, Doppy. One, He's got to win three if he wants to reset the bracket. Or actually, do y'all do resets? I don't know. Oh, yes, we yes. do. Okay. There will be a reset. Otherwise, LDZ is going to run away with it. Bouncing Ooh. bomb, Doppy. Forces it into both of them, and right now LDZ a little bit behind in health. 
Weapon Dobby, making sure LDZ is unable to get any sort of weaponry, constantly clearing the board. Goes so that dive White kick, but Dobby, him. yeah, Dobby punishes him with that neutral. Dobby inching across the map. LDZ tossing the bomb, catching it himself, doesn't get another bomb trade. Dobby goes for that down save, but doesn't connect. And LDZ finds a spear, punishing his signature with a neutral light, and hits him with that D light into the side air. Will he get the ground pound? No, he won't. Instead, he'll get punished by that spear toss. LDZ trying to use those SIGs to knock him out, but Doppy going deep with that hammer. Can he punish? There it is! Hammer, ground pound onto LDZ's head. He's gonna try to clear the board again, makes his way to the left, so he can pick up this hammer. LDZ doesn't even look to the horn, instead wants to try to get Doppy down. Ooh. Doppy charges up his weapon, tosses it into the Center King's pass, oh. but there's that side SIG, and LDZ is so great at landing, and ends that stock without even taking any damage, even 2-2. Two two. Mine put down Doppy, not enough force to knock LDZ into it. Neutral light goes for a chase dodge down light. Weapon toss after the side air. But gets the unarmed neutral light. He's racked up quite a bit of damage onto LDZ again. But LDZ might be able to finish it off. Stop into a side air. Not going to finish off LDZ yet. LDZ going into the shenanigans area. Doppy went deep, wow. but... LDZ survives. LDZ making excellent use of that recovery, using the dodge first that he'll get it back at the end of all of his jumps. Doppy holding onto the hammer, goes for a nair, doesn't quite connect. LDZ hits him with a neutral air of his own, goes for that neutral light, the stop, not connecting to the cider. However, LDZ is maintaining the stock. He's getting damage on Doppy. LDZ another cider knocks Doppy back. He gets the nair, but LDZ is still alive. That Queen Knight defense. So brutal, but the hammer wow. into the mind toss. Doppy gets the stock only in the orange. He's got to keep LDZ off the weapons. And LDZ, he's a little tree. He's like, yo, that was cute. That was wow. cute. LDZ catches the mine. Catches the mine as well. Holds onto the spear. Launches the spear into the mine just to catch the spear again. It's with the side arrow. Jeez. That weapon toss combination. Doppy spear tosses. Tossed out. LZ looking for a neutral air. Goes for that gravy cancel side sig. Doesn't connect, but doesn't get punched for it either. Doppy goes in for a down air. Doesn't quite hit. Finds himself with a new, another neutral light and puts LDZ into the deep yellow. That stop over into side air sends LDZ into the stage. Another stop side air? No, it doesn't quite connect. Gotcha. Do from Doppy. Couldn't get the neutral sig off in time before LDZ got on top of him. Catches him with an unarmed neutral light, but LDZ holding that mine. Doppy barely dodges through it. Has a down light. Can he punish? Yes, he can. Down sig. LDZ in trouble. Hammer is gonna keep that bomb out of LDZ's hands for now, but LDZ still alive. Hanging on to the stock. Ooh. Wants to get something, but Doppy is making sure there's zero weaponry for LDZ. Doppy's clearing the map every time something spawns. Tosses the hammer downwards, picks it back up again. Goes for a neutral that definitely would have killed LZ. Goes for a side sig, tries to get that pivot stop, oh. but doesn't work. And two swift neutral airs and Doppy stock. But LDZ is in the deep red. LDZ spot dodges, gets the punish onto Doppy. Spot dodges the Sarah again. Doppy gonna switch it up, throw away the hammer. Can't get the weapon toss connection. Oh gosh, I feel like LDC is going to be playing right around that zone the entire time on the stock. He can't get hit by a single hammer move here. Doppy throws the hammer, it connects on LDZ. LDZ in a lot of trouble, and there it is. Yeah. Just that little bit of a hammer toss is enough to finish off LDZ. That is how much damage was on him. Barely taps LDZ him on the LDZ banning maps. <laughs> and realizing that he can't ban maps, Doppy's the winner. Game two, going to Doppy in this best of five. One to one, it's looking more likely now that Doppy might be able to uh, encourage a bracket reset, which would be pretty interesting. Have another best of five between these two players. Not switching between legends, sticking with the Nash, feeling very confident with it against Inertia's LDZ. And here we are. We're going to Great Hall. Sticking with the same characters. No mix-ups, nothing Fancy, it's going to be LDZ on that Queen Knight versus Doppy on that Nash in Game 3. three two, on the one, Great Hall, ball. both players sticking to the Legends and their color palettes. LDZ goes in for the unarmed combo, Doppy tries to follow, but another player finds anything. LDZ gets the guitars, immediately throwing out neutral layers to be able to control the space. And ooh, finds a neutral light, tries to go for a neutral signature, doesn't connect, and Doppy ooh. gets the mine straight in LDZ's face and sends him below the stage. Doppy opting not to pick up the weapon, instead wanted to keep that unarmed aggression going and try to get some sort of early unarmed gimp on LDZ, but LDZ turning around on the wall with those nares. So many nares on the Doppy, but Doppy now with this spear can't get the downlights on the LDZ. 
Gets a recovery, gives him the space, gets a down light side air. Weapon toss again. That is just bread and butter for Doppy. Weapon toss from the hammer this time. Not gonna connect. Neutral light into a recovery from LDZ. Doppy punishes side air. Weapon toss. Can he get the ground pound? LDZ doesn't need the ground pound. LDZ falls to his death. Can't get to the wall in time. And Doppy continues to deny all weapons we're holding out of the hammer. There's the weapon toss in the LDZ's face to get the follow up of the unarmed. Dodges to the bomb. Tries to get a neutral light once again. The same weapon toss into neutral light combo, and LDZ finds himself in the yellow. Horn's called, Doppy finds the hammer, LDZ goes for a down sig, doesn't connect, and Doppy gets the scoop, misses it in there, and is doing a decent amount of damage with his stock advantage. Neutral light onto LDZ, that spear toss gonna stop Doppy's aggression, but only for a moment. Side air from LDZ sends Doppy into the side, but not enough to kill Doppy with that gravity cancel down signature, giving him the horizontal movement to get to that wall, and he gets the reverse scoop onto LDZ. LDZ has the wall control. Doppy Ooh. gets to the wall, gets to the dare, can't get the ground pound on LDZ, and now they are fighting for their lives right now along this wall. Neither of them backing up till right now. Wow, <laughs> LDZ dodging around Doppy's recovery to hit him with the recovery of his own while unarmed and killing him off the top. Still, LDZ's taking a lot of damage, and there's just the raw downsing, smashing LDZ into the ground and off the map, taking a solid one stock leave. LDZ with a neutral light into a recovery. He's got a stock disadvantage right now. Doppy scoop, nair, can't get the stair follow up. LDZ has this wall again. Is he gonna respect the recoveries from Doppy? No, he's going deep with these nairs, but there's the recovery from Doppy. A clutch recovery from Doppy being able to stop that ground pound. Otherwise, that certainly would have been the end of Doppy's stock. Doppy has been completely dominated by LDZ's guitar off stage game. He needs to do something to be able to get back on the stage and take control of the hammer. Two side six in a row, but a bomb trade. Doppy. He wanted to go for the bomb trade, but LDZ, 8 defense, Queen Nye is able to survive that bomb trade easily. Oh, but a raw side sig it sends LDZ flying. LDZ finds himself in the red, there's a stop into the scoop, doesn't kill him off the top, but another scoop like that will definitely end LDZ's stock and give Toppy the lead in this set. There's the stop, stop the side, side air. air, Toppy takes game three, and he is looking at that bracket reset. He wants it. He's saying, same bands, let's go. But LDZ this time is going to switch to Twilight. Doesn't want to go back to the Great Hall. Certainly didn't like not having center stage control at all the entire time. And he's going to try to mix it up on the Twilight Grove. Maybe be able to use that island to get some interesting bomb or signature Three, two, punishes. One, brawl. Going to game four, this best of five. LDZ finds the bomb, tosses it in the ground, playing basketball once again. Tosses the bomb off the side of the stage, tries to catch it. He does catch it. Holding on to this bomb for quite a while. And misses out of it. Doppy with the hammer. LDZ, even though he was juggling that bomb for quite a while, it gave Doppy, it gave him room away from Doppy to pick up those Qataris because Doppy's been trying to item starve him for so long. Doppy now with the spear this time, can't get the hit. Fishing for the downlight. There's the downlight into his side air. Doesn't go for the weapon toss this time because the soft platform was in the way. Dobby backs up, goes for the side sig, but LDZ staying outside of it. Getting these side airs onto Doppy right now. Doppy kind of playing a hit and run play style right now. I'm not trying to go for any too heavy guitar strings, right? Uh, Doppy going in for that stop. Toss the hammer to his face. Gets the neutral light and ends up bringing him into the orange. A cool down sig option from Doppy there to bait LDZ into approaching, hits him with the neutral light, gets some damage onto him, but can't find anything else. LDZ goes for a side sig, Doppy replies to the side sig, and gets slapped in the face by a side air. Recovery from Doppy is gonna give him room again, side air, gonna give LDZ space instead, back up, wants to keep the weapon control. LDZ doesn't seem to give any hoots about that top right weaponry, and, L and Doppy... He wants to get rid of it just in case. He's got to respect that mine though. Oh, LDC's already trying to side air him into the mine. There's the side air. Sends him above it, however, and it explodes on his own. LDC oh. finds the spear and a raw side sig launches him into the island and below the map. Toppy went for the aggressive side sig and LDC was ready and punished it hard. Got the stock off of Doppy and Doppy currently weaponless against LDC. Wants to hit him into the mine. But LDZ gonna play it smart and not get caught by it. LDZ holding on the guitar is playing it incredibly slow now that he's got the lead. But there's the downlight, doesn't get the side air follow up. Luckily, dodges through the side sig and ends up getting some damage onto Doppy, securing an even further lead that he has. 
Stoppy fishing for these downlights, wants to get that finisher, but can't quite get it. LDZ not going to connect with that side sig. Stoppy backing up, switching to hammer. Dodges in, can't get the scoop. Stoppy struggling to end the stock right now. Another side air connects, and LDC gets the recovery, sending him into the red. It's not going to take much more for LDC to end the stock. I was expecting a neutral air there, but it didn't quite connect. Doppy goes to the recovery, doesn't hit. Dodges through both the spears, and LDC somehow manages to hit Doppy with the, with the ground pound. Kills him off the bottom of the map. Doppy, however, severely damaged on the second stock. Great dodge from Doppy to get into position for that recovery, but LDZ is already ready to take that stock away. Gets him with that neutral stick, and now he's got Katars. doppy has got a hammer. Doppy gonna back up, switch to Spear, but gets caught by the sidelight before he's able to get anything off. Doppy goes for a ground pound. LDZ trying to punish with a neutral light. I wouldn't be surprised to hit, see if he lands one of those neutral lights with the Katars. He's gonna follow it up with a side sig. Hits Doppy off the side of the stage, tries to follow it up with a neutral air. Both players find themselves in the yellow, but LDZ still has a solid stock lead. Doppy can't be affording taking these even trades because he's not even with stocks. Side air from LDZ is going to keep Doppy off the map. Gravity cancel neutral stick just a little bit outside. Doppy went for the ground pound to punish, but LDZ makes it pass and goes for the down stick before Doppy can come after him. Doppy trying to get a big hit, but the side stick from LDZ is going to finish him off. And this time, we're going to game five. LDZ and Doppy, if LDZ can finish up this next match, then he is going to be the winner. Otherwise, Doppy gets the bracket reset, and we go to another best of five set. Fortunately for Doppy, he gets the map pick. Yes. This final game, Doppy has the advantage in the sense that because he was able to win the first, uh, his first two wins were a little bit earlier. He gets the final say on the counter pick and the map pick. Doppy saying just a second, maybe trying to figure out his... Um, his internet, seeing him make sure he's not lagging or something. Or maybe he's deciding whether or not he wants to pick Diana in his final match in the Grand Finals. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any new fledgling Diana mains today. Stop. Stop thinking hard about what he's going to do. Here go. Thinking. Yeah, Sorry. he's like saying he's thinking. Uh, he knows what, he... what is on the line right now. He doesn't want to make the wrong decision, and LDC says, take your time. I yeah, something that's wait. cool about best of fives, which is why a lot of players, when they get further into a tournament, prefer it, is that the counter pick game is so much more intense because you have to worry about what stages are allowed, what stages you've already won on, what stages are legal, and then and then being able to pick your legend as well as the stage to your play style and to counteract your opponents. It allows for a lot more... It allows for a different aspect of the game to exist that doesn't exist on solo ranked ladder or quick best of three, best of two matches. Because when you queue up for a 1v1 game in ranked, you don't get to pick your map. You don't get to strike maps. You're just kind of thrown into whatever. Absolutely. There is a lot of mind gaming and thought going on right now. Doppy also has the option of switching characters. Maybe he has something in the back pocket against Queen and I that he's just been holding on to. We're not 100% sure. Or Doppy is saying he's thinking, but has stopped to go to the restroom and that, completely forgot. That's possible, but I wouldn't doubt it considering how <laughs> large Doppy's uh, legend pool is that he's actually given this quite a bit of thought. And there's the Orion! I was just saying, it's quite possible he switches something different. And there it is. Orion is... Doppy's final pick. Wow. Let's hope it is the correct one if he wants to get the bracket reset. Going to Mammoth. Three, it's two, very interesting because the last time that he picked this Orion, it was strictly to counteract Twilight's Bryn playstyle. So I want to see how that works against LDZ, who's so guitar centric. And so far, we're seeing LDZ take control of the map with his guitar strings. Toppy still playing with this spear, gets the side light side air, doesn't go for the weapon toss instead, wants the falling nair, switching it up, weapon toss into lance nair weapon toss. Ooh, Very geez. aggressive playstyle, wants to just use those weapon tosses, those big hitboxes from those Orion weaponry to keep his strings going. And there's that signature LDZ recovery into Gravy Cancel side sig that he always likes to go for. It doesn't connect into Doppy, however. And Doppy finds that down light inside her. Goes for that down sig to be able to punish LDZ for getting on the stage too quickly. And there's the side air to send LDZ back off the side of the stage. He can't get back to center. Players switching positions now. LDZ is deciding to go back off stage now. Both players um, never opting to be on the stage at the same time. 
Stoppy gonna back up, avoids the down sig, has the lance in hand, gets the sidelight into a recovery, and Dobby's gonna take the first stock. Sending him flying and taking advantage with this Orion pick. Inches across the stage, LDZ goes for a side sig, Doppy spaces perfectly around it, ends up with the neutral light. LDZ going for these risky signature moves that are just getting himself punished time and time again. Doppy hits him with the D-light, hits him with the weapon toss, the neutral light. He's really quickly racking up damage on LDZ's Queen Nye. But there's the side air, will he follow with another aerial? Oh, ground pound from Doppy onto LDZ to punish the ground pound from LDZ, but LDZ has the wall right now. Doppy makes it over him. Backs up, has the spear, but gets caught by the side air from LDZ. My gosh. That offstage game from LDZ there. If this was shipwrecked, that would have been his stock. But there's the bomb. Doppy just throws it downwards, and it connects in the LDZ, sending him to the red. There's the lance throw to be able to cover D LDZ for going high. Ooh. Hits him with the recovery into the side air. And there's the spear recovery to finish off that stock. And Doppy has a full stock advantage right now against Queen Nye. Yeah, that's looking bad. Doppy goes for that arm combos once again, racking up the damage over and over again, sending him to the deep yellow against the Queen I no less, finds the lance, hits him with the side light into the neutral air. LDC finds a spear, but Doppy's very quickly taking this game away. Dodges the weapon toss. LDZ catches him with a neutral light, but Doppy answers back huge and finishes it off with that mind toss. And Doppy got the bracket reset, puts it in chat and says, let's go. Wow, that was a two and a half minute game against a Queen Nile of us. That Orion pick really coming in big for Doppy. Whether or not this is a pocket pick or something that LDZ is going to get used to very quickly, we're going to find out because we've got another best of five that we have for you guys before the end of today's tournament. They have to go through the entire stage band process again. Doppy making sure that he uh, has his legend pick before they decide to do the stage bands. Sticking with the Orion. Here we go. LDZ banning kings and ship. We'll see what Doppy ends up banning off finally. Chat calling out for a raffle, but unfortunately, we're not going to have the raffle until grand finals are done. But these Grand matches Thunder. are pretty exciting. That leaves Mammoth and Twilight, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go to... Let's see what LZ decides on. Twilight. Twilight. Oh. It's gonna... <laughs> Interesting uh, misspelling from him, but here we go. Game one of our bracket reset, yeah, best of five grand finals between Doppy and LDZ, Orion versus Queen Nye. Here Three, we go. Two, one, brawl. All right, so here we go. LDZ first one to pick up a weapon and is able to knock the bomb out of Doppy's hands. LDZ this time keeping weapon control. Doppy gets a mind toss onto LDZ and is actually ahead in damage despite the weapon control from LDZ. Doppy turned around with his lance. Gonna try to keep LDZ off of the Katars. Doing a great it's the job with the air side. LDZ finds the bomb, tosses it into Doppy's face. Doesn't quite connect. Doppy just goes for a down stick out of nowhere and then a side stick as well. LDZ going with the guitars, tries to hit him with the side light, doesn't quite connect, and Doppy tosses his weapon to the side to hit him with the unarmed combo. All these he's in a deep red. Dunsig from Doppy finishes it off, and Doppy only in the yellow. LDZ, he's got to start thinking about what adjustments he can make. He doesn't have the option of switching characters, because I don't think LDZ has any other characters that he can play, but he's got to start thinking of something. Otherwise, Doppy's going to be running away with it at this pace. Yeah, Doppy taking advantage of these wide weapons to be able to control uh, LDZ as he tries to jump above him in the air. Wow, LDZ goes from that slight charge down, so it doesn't quite work out. Doppy tries to punish with the ground pound, doesn't connect, and both players find themselves back on center stage. LDZ, however, now carrying him across the air, will he find another recovery? LDZ going for the side stick, but Doppy interrupts with a spear neutral light. LDZ again, neutral light gets the recovery to hit. Doppy into the sky, down stick, not going to connect. Doppy goes around that right platform and LDZ is gonna stay alive for now. Doppy 
Gets Ooh. caught by the recovery from LDZ, and that is going to finish it off. And despite how long that stock took, LDZ didn't really take that much damage. Stocks are essentially even here. Doppy, however, finds the mine. If this connects, which it doesn't. Ooh. Bomb bouncing around. Doppy doesn't want to try to catch it. Avoid it. it. Yeah. Hits him with the lance, hits him with the cider, followed by a down air, sends LDZ off the side of the stage. Ooh, LDZ down, playing very carefully. Oh my gosh, is that the stock? There's a side air. No, Doppy makes it back. LDZ not opting to go for a ground pound to be able to end that quickly. Doppy comes back on the stage with the lance, holds on to it, tosses it to the side, finds the spear. Will he go for a signature? No, he doesn't. LDZ hits him with the neutral light, sends him off stage once again. Now both players are back to second. These neutral airs from LDZ are doing absolute work, and it seems like that was the adjustment that he needed to make. There's more neutral airs because they are getting through this defense of Doppy. Doppy gets a sideline into a recovery, but it's not going to finish off. LDZ yet can't get the weapon tossed for the unarmed recovery. Both well, players hitting each other with unarmed recoveries. Doppy goes over the ground pound. Does that end it? No, LDZ makes it back. Oh, LDZ didn't touch the wall. Ooh. This recovery was so close, but not close enough. Yeah, not LDZ even. LDZ falls to his death. Not even off to use the air dodge until it was too late. Doppy takes the lead once again, but he's in the deep red. And LDZ has the ability to take the stock and make it even. There's the recovery. Kills him off the top, barely taking any damage. One to one in game one. It could be anybody's game. Doppy picks up the bomb, throws it away. LDZ with these Katars right now, trying to keep Doppy. He's basically drawn a line in the middle of the map and says, Doppy, you can't come across this, but Doppy makes it pass, picks up the spear. LDZ holds on to the Katars, and Doppy goes below the island, but gets punished by a falling neutral light. Goes for that slide charge down, so he doesn't connect. Doppy finds the spear, holds in his hand, tries to go for a neutral air, doesn't connect. Goes for the down, Light, but that doesn't hit either. Both players spending this entire minute almost not hitting each other. Both on their last stocks, and they know that since this is the first game after the reset, it's gonna be the momentum game. Whoever is able to take it can run away with it, but right now LDZ gets a falling dare. Falling there, excuse me. And there is a nice weapon toss from Doppy. Doppy looking for a hit. Going for the dare, but LDZ with a big side stick bounces him off that right wall. LDZ fishing for another side stick, and Doppy getting close to kill range. Neutral light from Doppy. Gonna knock LDZ away, and that Lance Toss connects. Nares from Doppy. Weapon Toss. Not quite enough, and LDZ in control of the bottom platform right now. Another Weapon Toss from LDZ, but the... Or from Doppy, but the Sare from LDZ, and Doppy bops his head, but he's still alive for now. Recovery not going to be enough. Avoids the neutral stick from LDZ. Punishes barely with a down air. But Doppy not able to survive. And that is going to be it. Doppy gets taken down. Game one going the way of LDZ. Is Doppy going to switch characters? Is he going to keep with this Orion adjustment? We're going to find out in a second. Shipwreck and Thunderguard banned out. And I am back. Doppy banning out Mammoth Fortress. Or picking Mammoth Fortress. We're going on to game two. Best of five. Three, two, one, brawl! Here we go, Mammoth Fortress. Both players find themselves unarmed, but LDZ finds the first weapons to the spear, but Doppy manages to hit him with the unarmed anyways. An excellent chase dodge into more neutral lights sends LDZ into the yellow. <laughs> Doppy with a good dare to knock LDZ around, but not much else. After that, Ground Pound gets punished by the spot dodge from LDZ. Falling there again from LDZ, and Doppy answers back with a side air. Uses the weapon toss to give himself room, and follows up with an immediate under unarmed recovery. Downlight side air keeps LDZ off the map. He's going to give LDZ room, because he knows that he can't kill LDZ yet. Oh! Almost directly to the mine there, tosses the lance into the mine instead, holds onto the spear, goes for an immediate down stake, and there's the D-Light Sider to send to LDZ flying, but I feel like he's gonna be able to get back to the stage. LDZ, oh, oh no! He thought he touched the wall again! And then waited too long with the dodge, just don't risk it. Use that dodge as soon as possible, he ends up losing that stock, and that's a big deal considering how close these stocks are. LDZ kicks him, however, with that side light, looks for the spike ball and finds it, tosses it into Doppy's face twice and sends him into the red. Goes to that neutral stick with the, with the spear, goes to the side stick, but Doppy's doing such a great job of dodging those hitboxes. Goes to that ground pound to be able to end Doppy's stock, but Doppy just does not care about any of the moves that LDZ is throwing out, and there is the ground pound. 
almost ending LDZ stock, but there's a oh, side the sig. side sig from LDZ sends Doppy off the map, but LDZ is taking quite a bit of damage. He's got the Kadaras, but he was not able to keep Doppy off of that spear. But he's staying on top of him. Doppy not able to space him out with these stairs. Has to throw the spear away. Gets the mine, but gets hit before he can throw it. Ooh, LDC LDC playing around that trying mine. to keep this pressure on. Yeah, making sure that Doppy doesn't get any explosives to play with right now. Gets hit with a downer. However, there's the mine trait, but doesn't kill. That's so bad for Doppy. That is definitely not what Doppy needs right now, especially with how much of a lead that he had against LDC. Goes to that side sink. Doppy tries to punish Wasn't him able to here. punish. Oof. These side sinks. And there's the ground. Oh! What the ground, ground pound pounds. into the weapon! Kills Bounces him, the him off the wall and into the weapon. An insane interaction of things right there. Doppy takes the lead. LDZ getting hit by that down light into another combo, but Doppy can be very quickly killed. Future light again from Doppy. He's racked up quite a bit of damage onto LDZ. Downlight side air again from Doppy. He's opting not to go for these weapon tosses. Instead, wants to hold on to it. LDZ holding on to the spear, oh, tosses it into bomb. Doppy, but the bomb sends LDZ into the red, and now what was before an even stock is now totally in Doppy's lead. Doppy tries to get the side air, can't quite get the hit. There's a down air onto LDZ, uses the lance, <laughs> and LDZ can't avoid both the lance and the spear side sig. So instead, he takes the spear side sig and gets knocked off, and Doppy. Has evened it up. He gets to ban the maps this time. Yep, and game two goes to Doppy. Gosh, these are this is an incredibly close grand finals. Both players are just going back and forth in regards to who gets the momentum. And sticking with these legends, Doppy definitely doesn't want to go back to Nash. Sticking with Orion, did you see the map? I did not. I guess we'll find out in just a moment here in game three. Here it is, King's Pass once again. Three, Lots of fun two, stuff are happening in these maps in the, in the previous best of five. And we're going right into it. LDZ picks up the spear, Doppy puts a mine down, but LDZ has the weapon control. Doppy just playing it real safe. Other side of the map, can't get the nair. LDZ holding up the guitars, tries to go in with the side light, but it gets punched by Doppy's downlight side air into a weapon toss to a dive kick. Breaking the damage really quickly. LDZ, however, interrupts Doppy's approach with a neutral air. Doppy dodging around, gets caught by the neutral light from LDZ. Throws the lance up, throws the mine up, and is going to back up with this spear. LDZ's got to make the approach again. Gets the falling nair onto him, and the Sair's going to send him down into the shenanigans area. Needs a couple more nairs. But Doppy is inching his way back up, makes it back on top. Currently weaponless right now, but picks up the lance, side light into a recovery. There's a decent amount of damage. Doppy finds the spear, tries to go for the recovery, but LDZ has nothing to do with it. Goes for a ground pound, and LDZ gets an excellent recovery to punish that. Doppy finds himself off the side of the stage, using every jump possible to avoid LDZ's punishes, but still gets hit by a side air from the spear into a ground pound. Doppy with these weapon tosses is absolutely relentless. Using these weapon tosses not only to continue his strings, but give himself the space he needs to survive. LDZ holding on to the guitars, goes in for a neutral air, doesn't quite connect. Doppy hits him with the unarmed combo, launches the bomb into the air, and LDZ barely spaces around it. Doppy goes for that down sick, doesn't connect. LDZ waiting impatiently in the air, trying to find whatever he can to be able to end, or hold on to his stock and get as much damage as possible before Doppy's able to inevitably end his. There's the down air into the weapon toss, the mine, the ground pound. Wow! Not enough! LDZ makes it back and is gonna juggle Doppy for just a little bit. Jeez, LDZ doing an excellent job maintaining his stock there. Gets hit by a recovery, he dodges out of the second one, and a ground pound, that'll end it. Doppy didn't take too much damage for it, but LDZ, can he get a weapon spawn? There it is, spear in LDZ's hands, going into the shenanigans area, but Doppy undeterred has the unarmed against him. Goes in, gets the dare, and is evening up that health little by little. LZ tosses that spear to the side. Doppy finds himself in the orange, but yes, this game is becoming quite even very quickly. However, Doppy with an incredible lance combo ends up with a weapon toss, but LDC gets a trade of his own. Goes with the guitars, it's a neutral light, doesn't get the recovery. Doppy tosses the lance aside and finds a spear. Doppy dodges in, can't get the downline. LDZ is ready for it this time, but both of them even health. Doppy mm. outspaces the side sig, but isn't able to punish. LDZ does another side signature. Once he lands, watches that move out, you know that he wants to try to make it land. 
I feel like he could have gone for a gravy cancel side say right there. Doppy picks up the mine for the bomb. Neutral Dots to the line. side. Neutral air from Doppy. Ooh, and Doppy slowly spaces into place for a down stake, expecting LDC to land into it, but he does not. Kicks him in the face, sends him off the stage. Will he be able to end the stock to the ground pound? No! Ooh. Gets punished by a side air. Is this Doppy stock? No, it's not! Doppy hits Doppy up the dive kick! The down air. That is a two part move. He got. LDZ with the hit, but he also got the wall touch with that down air, and Doppy stays alive for just a little bit longer, but LDZ with wall control oh. keeps Doppy at bay. Ends up making sure that Doppy can't recover because he didn't have his dodge, and he falls off the bottom of the map. LDZ takes the lead with a red stock. Doppy goes in for that down air, doesn't connect. LDZ chasing him around with some neutral airs, finally lands one, goes for a side light into a neutral air himself, and gets Doppy into the yellow. Doppy looking for it. There it is. Picks up the bomb, immediately drops it on LDZ as LDZ is doing that neutral light. And stocks are even up one to one. LDZ goes for the bomb trade, which he definitely does want, being Queen Nye. Goes for that dive kick, doesn't quite connect. As the spear travels off the side of King's Pass with his side light. Doppy goes for the unarmed combo, picks up the horn. What does he get? He gets the spear. Health almost even. Doppy. He's got to play a little bit more safe against LDZ right now given that they are on their final stocks again Doppy throws away the lance this time and LDZ with the guitars is gonna catch Doppy with a little bit of damage with that neutral light side light catches can't get the side sig Ooh, down sig connects barely clips him despite the sound effect not really playing goes for that down light gets the spear tosses everything in the center of King's Pass but LDZ goes oh! around all of it the side sig from LDZ just out of nowhere, Doppy was busy doing his footsie, didn't expect that side zig, and now LDZ takes it back to one. He's going to sh ban Shipwreck and Thunderguard, and Doppy ready goes to Mammoth. Gosh, it's almost as like Doppy forgot that, that side zig existed from how often LDZ used it at the start of that match. We're going to game four, two to Three, one, two, one brawl. on the Mammoth Fortress. Doppy finds the first weapon to the lance, lands with the down air, ends up connecting with LDZ's face and a nice aerial weapon toss. He will put on even more damage on the LDZ's Queen Eye. LDZ trying to keep the weapons going. Doppy gets a down light side air weapon toss and backs up to pick up the lance this time. Jumps into the neutral sig. I think he expected a gravity cancel side sig or something. Ooh, Doppy. Weapon both, tosses on both sides. Both players tossing their weapons into each other without a... Allowing it, neither of them to get follow up, but the LDZ hits him with that neutral light into the recovery. Sends him flying. Doppy goes for a side air, misses, and gets punished by LDZ's side air of his own. Side sig from LDZ chasing behind Doppy. Doppy not able to get away, and that is going to be a huge advantage to yeah, LDZ right unlike now. Unlike the last stock, LDZ still has quite a bit of uh, life left to him be able to carry on with this next stock. Doppy over hitting that D-Light Cider, sitting with the orange. LDZ tries to land with a neutral light, or neutral air. And just to land the second one. And now he's starting to get some decent amount of damage. Doppy dodging around, gets a dare, throws the Lance up, and covers the other side with the recovery. Lance connects onto LDZ for that little bit of damage. Doppy still has the opportunity to end the stock very quickly, but he's taking damage. Very slowly, there's the side air, launches the lance off the side of the stage, inches towards the spear and gets down the down sig <gasps> into the... <laughs> Did he launch that into the Valkyrie? Into the Valkyrie, absolutely. Oh my Spears gosh. Spears in Doppy's hands now. Doppy getting Gotta the insane, all back. insane offstage combos this set. Uh, evens it up two to two. Uh, holds on to the spear, LDZ going with the guitars. And hits him with the neutral air. Doppy using those stairs to get back and LDZ punishing that recovery. Yeah. You can't recover that high with the Lance. It is the freest punish in the world. Absolutely. It covers a lot of distance, but what does that matter if you're going to die when you get there? Hits him with, uh, with whatever he can with the Lance, using these neutral layers over and over again. They're actually doing a great job of not taking damage to stock. If Doppy's able to end this with the down sig. The down sig. Mine! There it is! Bomb wow. toss into LDZ's head! And stocks are evened up. Doppy with the weapon control. LDZ jumping up into the sky. Doesn't want to take too much damage before he can get any sort of weapon. Or he sees the spawn. There's the guitars. 
But Dobby gets a side light into a nair, throws the lance up, but can't follow up. Dobby tries to go for, yeah, that weapon toss, but doesn't actually quite work. LDZ going in with the neutral airs once again with the, with the guitars, but Dobby's responding with some neutral airs of his own. Hits him with the down air, sends him into the orange, but LDZ tries to go for that neutral air side stick follow, does not work, tosses the lance aside, goes for the spear, tries to get that down light follow, and nothing ends up connecting. LDZ chases him off stage. This is dangerous for Dobby. Side light, or side air misses. Oof. Respects the neutral stick, punishes a little bit with that neutral air. Downlight side air sends LDZ off the map. LDZ currently unarmed. Doppy looking for something. Has the bomb not going to connect this Who goes that down saying LDZ stay on the side of the stage. Both players find themselves basically at kill percent. If LDZ is able to find a weapon, he might try to hit it with that side stick, but Doppy's doing a great job of denying everything that spawns. Bomb! Doppy oh, can't no. get hit by it. The bomb LDZ just tosses aside. I don't think he wants to go for a trade at this point. Well, players at a single stock spread health. There's the side sink. Oh. Doppy goes for a side sink of his own. The ground pick doesn't connect, and both players just running from side to side. Doppy throws the weapon, but he gets hit by the sidekick. Oh my gosh. Doppy's just waiting for a weapon spot. LDZ not even wanting to deny it. There's the lance. The side, side sink. Side sink from Doppy takes it. He sees the opportunity. LDZ threw out the side sink and Doppy dodges down the barrel of that gun. Gets the side sink as LDZ tries to jump away. And we are evened up going to game five after the reset. So this has been a 10 match set. This, there's no, there are no more games after this. We're in the game five of the best of five of the bracket reset for grand finals between Vex's Dopey and Nurse's LDZ. These are incredibly close. This is going to decide it all. Dopey sticking with this Orion, LDZ with this Queen Nye, and we're going to Blackguard for the final <laughs> Blackguard map. Blackguard of all maps. Oh boy. First weapon. Dopey gets the first weapon. Yeah. LZ finds the horn, calls it in. It's the spear. I don't feel like he wants that very much. He's going to toss that aside, look for the guitars. No, gets another spear. Doppy still holding on to the lance. Might want to deny that from LZ. He doesn't. Spear launches upwards, goes for that neutral air, doesn't connect, but the second one does. Doppy gets the dare, can get the neutral light afterwards. LDZ with these nares, trying to keep Doppy at bay, but Doppy with the weapon toss into a neutral air, but throws the lance away, can't get the hit stun. And. LDZ now with control, barely off the mark with that neutral sig. Neutral sig from Doppy sends Whoa. LDZ down, and the weapon toss, but LDZ makes it back to the wall, has enough in his oh, kit. Gosh. Mine in place. Is what gonna excellent hit punish game from Doppy there, but LDZ still manages to make it back. Holding on the guitars, Doppy tosses aside his lance, gets the spear, goes for a ground pound, oddly enough. I feel like that was supposed to be a down sig. And there's the charge down sig. Oh. That's not something you want to do in front of a Queen Knight with guitars. LDZ easily punishes that with a side sig and takes the lead. Doppy over tosses the bomb, doesn't connect with LDZ, looks for a weapon, he gets it. It's the spear. Doppy was charging up that down sig, wanted to punish LDZ approaching, but LDZ was safe enough away that he had time to pause and see the punish, and Doppy what? had no choice. Oh! No choice for the dodge of the line. Gives a taunt just to assure the, uh, the viewers that he's not tilted, tosses the spear into the air, goes for the lance recovery, but LDZ, he's man managing to hold on to the stock. Doppy's go about to enter the orange. Doppy getting into a little bit of trouble right now. He's got to turn this around. He's got to get this stock. There's the neutral air. LDZ wants to stay in the sky. Doppy could easily get a sidelight into a recovery if LDZ isn't careful. But now Doppy's currently unarmed. Yeah, this is looking really bad. Doppy needs to end the stock and end it quickly. Goes for the lance. Goes for that down sig or that neutral sig. Doppy has the spear. Can't get the down light for his side air follow up. There's a spear toss again. Mine is going to be thrown down wow. and it punishes LDZ's dodge. What an excellent mine placement. Placing that just right in front of his uh, legend model. LDZ was not expecting that at all and he evens it up 2-2. Two to two. Doppy has the opportunity to make this even and even take the lead. Tosses the oh. lance. Wow, that neutral air launched LDZ into his weapon lob. If Dobby was ready for that, he could have potentially followed up after that weapon toss connection. But either way, Dobby is evening up this health little by little. Calls in the horn, immediate neutral light. He's got the lance, but gets punished again oh. for the signatures. Dobby's got to be more careful. That's the second time a wild signature has ended up in his death. And LDZ yes. now has control.
Dobby finds the spear, however, if he's able to end this stock a lot faster than he played in the last one, he has a chance of being able to take this grand final set. However, calls on the horn, has the spear, hits him with the recovery, LDZ is sent into the red, but I feel like he's going to take another two recoveries before LDZ's stock can be ended. And if he keeps throwing out signatures like that, he's just going to continue to get punished. Down light side air, bomb! Not going to connect LDZ, LDZ a little bit of it. And there's the side stick from Doppy. Finishes it off, but Doppy in the yellow. Yeah, but that's not so bad. Doppy was actually able to space that side stick properly this time, and now he's hit LDZ a few times. LDZ, however, finds the guitars, is going in for these neutral airs. Gosh, Doppy tosses the weapon upwards, tries to get an unarmed combo, but doesn't quite work. LDZ just completely controlling the airspace around Doppy right now. Lance toss, not gonna connect, switches to spear, gets the side light, gets the side air, can't get the Lance the spear toss. Throwing Ooh. the spear up, has a bomb! Oh! Punish the and spear! Still has the spear, can't punish the side sig! Oh no, LDZ is still chasing that side sig, would have ended it, but now he's below the stage, this is the stock! Oh, Doppy! No! <laughs> Doppy I doesn't have the jumps! He didn't have the jumps, he got hit by the ground pound, and LDZ takes grand finals!